Hello everyone, I'm Lucia Tian with Coffee and Craft. I have released Little Craft Cat version 1.5.5a that includes a lot of changes in printing features. Uh, so that's very important. So please watch this video till the end. Okay, so let's jump in. Um, so um, when you have a relatively big um, project uh, or pattern like this one, this is like a wallet, but still uh, it requires multiple pages uh, in printing for A4 or little side papers. Um, in previous version, you have to uh, you know go print one by one. So select region and print, and then select another region print. So it wasn't that easy to print multiple pages. Uh, but from this version, uh, you can print uh, multiple pages at once. So I'm going to show you how to do it. So first of all, uh, click on print button here and then uh, select your printer select your paper select your orientation uh, like this one and then make sure the scale is 100 percent always 100 percent do not change to fit the paper or anything like that 100 percent is the one uh, you have to stick with so uh, click ok and then this print dialog will also just uh, hit print or if you want to save it uh, as a PDF, then this uh, click this one PDF and then specify the file name and then you will be able to print to PDF instead of uh, real paper. Um, but anyway, so uh, I'm going to hit print and then it will give you some um, notification uh, that make sure to uh, do calibration, which I'm going to talk about later. There is a slight change for calibration. So I'm going to talk about that later. Uh, but anyway, so um, then you will see uh, print preview window and then let me make and then let me make it a little bigger. Okay. So um, until previous version, um, there was only one print area here. But from this version, uh, you can add multiple pages um, using this button, uh, plus or minus. You can add as many pages as you want. And then you can move around uh, these pages like this. And of course, you can change the orientation to um, landscape if, you, if necessary. Also, what's new in this version is um, it supports tile print it aligns multiple pages uh, like grid so if you keep adding pages it will be like that and if you want to increase the number of pages for the horizontal uh, direction then you can change uh, this number currently it's three by default it's two uh, so by default this is uh, you know, how it looked like but you can change it to three or four uh, or whatever uh, the you know number of pages uh, you can do it and then add uh, pages to fill uh, the the open space until it covers the entire area of your project so uh, in this case I only need three so I'm gonna hit three and then uh, decrease number of pages you know, one more so this is the um, this covers the entire um, project um, um, for my wallet. I think for this project, I, it's better to use, um, you know, landscape. So let me do that. Um, page settings, go to uh, hit landscape and OK. And now I don't need uh, three pages horizontal, so I just need two. So yeah, this will cover the whole thing. And as you can see, um, there's some overlap and uh, you can change the, uh, the level of overlap uh, from this number so currently it's 10 by default 10 you can uh, increase it to uh, 20 millimeter down to zero it's supposed to be zero but this version uh, I think a Windows version can go down to zero but Mac, no, Macintosh version uh, it will go down to uh, one um, so I'll, I'm gonna fix it in the next release but it shouldn't be a big deal because you want to have um, some kind of overlap anyway. So um, you can change the level of overlap here. And then um, what you want to do is, okay, this this one is okay because uh, this is the one paper. So that's uh, that fits in uh, this paper. 
you might want to move this this one uh, to uh, towards the right a little bit and then this one this one is outside the, the first paper num page number one so you want to bring this portion up a little bit to fit in the, the page this one as well this is on the edge so you want to uh, bring it uh, to a little more higher so you can do this let me close this one um, after closing this window what you're gonna see is uh, this may be t uh, very weak um, so I don't know if you can see it or not let me hide the grid uh, view uh, show hide the grid okay so these blue dots line uh, indicates the paper error so um, you might want to select this one and move up a little bit to fit in the paper area yeah that's it and then yeah you might want to magnify it it will speed up um, the operation so uh, select and then this is the uh, end of the, the first page so um, you want to move it up a little bit like this one so this way um, it will be much much easier now to uh, align to papers so you can do this for the other um, part and then go back to print let's assume everything is um, okay and then now um, yeah th this one is still not aligned but let's assume it's done now uh, what you want to do is just to hit the print and then you will uh, get six pages uh, at once no more going back and forth so i think this is a, a big improvement um, compared to the previous versions so please use it and then let me know uh, what do you think uh, if you have any suggestions please let me know this is just a, a first version of this print feature and then i would like to uh, brush it up by hearing your feedbacks so uh, please let me know uh, what do you think and before printing actually there's one uh, really important thing um, uh, that's uh, calibration so uh, if you go to settings yep so um, here's the oh there's some truncated I wonder if I can maximize this ah, sorry part, you know, part of the, the, the sentence is not uh, readable so I'm gonna explain uh, what this is so this is the um, print scale calibration feature after doing calibration in a proper way uh, your printing will be always uh, very accurate so here's how to do it um, make sure these numbers are 100 uh, millimeter for both x and y uh, horizontal and vertical and then uh, print one page uh, that's a test print it will come with uh, 10 millimeter scales uh, both for uh, horizontal and then uh, vertical so measure the length of uh, horizontal and the vertical um, you know, scale and then type it in in millimeter so uh, let's say uh, your uh, vertical scale printed out vertical scale was 92 millimeter then then put 92 here if the uh, you know horizontal scale uh, length was 101 millimeter then it type in 101 and make sure when you print doing the test print make sure to set the uh, paper orientation to portrait this is super important uh, because until previous versions uh, you have to switch these numbers uh, manually uh, by yourself when you're printing a landscape um, but from this version um, software will do uh, this flipping automatically so so make sure to do test print uh, in portrait orientation and put the actual measured uh, lengths for the, the scales here then you're good to go so if you want to know the step-by-step -step instruction how to do calculation uh, please go to help menu and then uh, read frequently asked questions FAQ and then it will open the browser and um, in somewhere here um, yep yep here 
my printout is not accurate. How can I uh, calibrate my printer? So this is a step-by-step -step instruction how to do it. So please read here uh, carefully and perform uh, calibration. Then you will always have uh, super accurate printing. Okay, so um, this is about um, printing changes. And uh, Windows 11 users, um, you might have experienced like a freeze uh, after printing, after hitting print before. I've been trying to fix that issue and um, I did another fix. So hopefully um, with this version, uh, you will not experience uh, the, the frozen situation, but uh, please let me know if you still have that issue. Okay, so uh, the last thing is uh, totally different. So let me open a new document. Um, that is about um, the rotation of um, oval ellipse. So there's some reasons um, this oval shape is not rotatable. I don't know if rotatable is uh, uh, English or not, but uh, let me explain. So if you um, if you draw something like the, these and then select and then uh, control and the mouse wheel, you can rotate things. But as you can see, um, uh, overall is not, uh, you know, cannot be rotated. There are some reasons for this. And in the future version, I would like to support that, but currently it doesn't. But there's a uh, trick for, for this. Um, if you don't need to have uh, this interaction point, or if you don't need to stitch, um, you know, on the oval, then there is a way to convert this into a path. That is a bunch of you know, small lines in here, and then um, basically it's not going to be an uh, oval. But um, this way, uh, you will be able to uh, rotate oval shape. So if you just need this, this kind of shape and then rotate it, um, please do um, like this. Then uh, you will be able to rotate at the same time like this one. But you will lose the capability to uh, you know, find the uh, intersections um, with these lines. Um, or you will not be able to do stitching. Uh, it will not respond for that kind of stuff. But if you just want this shape to be turned, then uh, this is the way. So I'll do it one more time. Um, draw oval, uh, right click on it, and convert the selected shape into a path object. So this way, this looks like an oval object, but um, it's not. It's just a bunch of small lines here, and then you can turn it. Of course, you, you can expand and shrink uh, with Control and Shift and just control uh, rotation uh, so you can do this but you can't do any trimming or anything like that okay so i think that's it for today i hope you will like this printing features and please let me know if there is anything not working correctly or if you have questions suggestions requests i'm not a perfect guy so there are tons of stuff I can't do but but I'm trying to make this software better by hearing uh, users voice so your feedback is really important okay so that's it for today uh, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video bye bye